Hey, how's it going? It's Lee Hayward here from LeeHayward.com and today I'm going to take you through a shoulder workout. Now one of the keys to getting a good shoulder workout is to work all heads of the deltoids. You know, you have your front head, the side head, and the rear head of the deltoids and you need to hit all these muscle heads in order to get a good complete shoulder workout. So I'm just going to take you right now down to the dumbbell rack and we'll get started. All right, our first exercise of the workout is the seated dumbbell shoulder press. Now, I like using dumbbells for a lot of my pressing exercises because it forces both the left and the right sides to handle an equal workload, and I find to get a better range of motion. You notice when you're doing the dumbbells, you can bring the weights down exactly to the sides of your head, versus if you have a barbell, you ha either have to press it to the front or to the back, and this can kind of place some excess strain on the shoulder joint. For this exercise, we'll start with a couple progressively heavier warm-up sets and then move into three working sets of 8 to 10 reps. The next exercise in our workout is the side dumbbell lateral raises. And this is a great movement that really targets the side delts. When you do this, you want to keep a slight bend in your elbow times. This will help to take some of the tendons and allow you to work the muscles harder. Again, we're going to start off with one to two progressively heavier warm-up sets and then move into our working sets and bang out probably three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Right. Now we're going to move on to doing bent over dumbbell flies. This is a great movement to work the rear delts and the entire upper back. When I do this exercise, I like to keep my back flat and look down at the floor. I find that this position is the most comfortable and it allows me to get a deep muscle contraction throughout the upper back. Now we're going to move on to doing plate raises for the front delts. And this is one of my favorite front raise variations. I just like the whole hand position of holding on to a weight plate as I do this movement. But you could use a barbell, you can use dumbbells, you know it really doesn't matter. Each variation is going to hit the front delts in a similar fashion. But again, I like to use the weight plate for this exercise, and 45 pounds just happens to be a good working weight for me. When I get to this point in my workout, my shoulders are already fully warmed up, so I just jump to my working weight and perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps. To finish things off, I like to do the Bradford press. Now, this is a unique shoulder press variation where you simply press the bar high enough to clear your head, and you alternate pressing it to the front and to the back. Now for this, I just like to use the empty barbell and go for high reps. Like I'll probably shoot for four sets of 25 reps to get 100 total reps at the end of my shoulder workout and just really burn out the delts. This doesn't look like much, but trust me, at the end of your workouts when you're really fatigued, this burns like crazy. So there you have it, a complete shoulder workout. We started off with the seated dumbbell press, which works the entire deltoids. Then we moved on to the side lateral raises to really isolate the side delts. Did the bent over dumbbell flies to hit the rear delts. Then we did the plate raises for the front delts. And finished things off with the Bradford presses to really pump up the shoulders. So if you'd like to get some more killer workout tips like this, be sure to check out the link below and sign up for my free 10-part muscle building tips newsletter.